Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Great. Always. I hope always to say I'm a great miss. Today we will be the last lesson in chapter 11. Then we will be done from chapter 11. Done from measurement. Now, our lesson today is measurement data. Oh, it's not a new word for me. What's the meaning of data? Data is the information you get after doing survey, right? Right? Now, we will not do survey. We will bring five pencils before we start. I want you to bring five pencils. And I will bring also like you and one ruler. Bring pencil and ruler. Now, here we go. Open page 715 and look at it carefully. It's not a new thing. You already know it. Now, look at this line. Do you remember it? Sure, it's line a plot. Excellent, great job. It's line plot. Right? Okay, now. Look at your pencils you got and the ruler. Start measuring the first pencil. But don't measure it by, uh, by centimeters. Measure it in inches. Don't measure it in centimeters. Measure it in inches. Where can I find the inches, miss? It's in the other side of the centimeters. It's the other side, okay? You have the ruler. You have two sides on the ruler. The first side is a close number to each other. You have short distance between the numbers. This is for centimeters. While the other side has a very long distance between the numbers. So this is the anxious side. Start using the anxious side and measure the first pencil, please. You're done? I'm done. My pencil was three inches long. So I'm going to put one X above three inches. Measure the second pencil. And my second pencil was six inches long. Okay? It was about six inches long. Can you finish the three pencils? Yes. Measure the three more pencils and please, when you're done, go to the number line and mark the number you got. Okay? So if you got seven now, you will put an X above the seven. Now I measured with you one pencil because I have here one X, two pencils, this is another X, and the three pencils, this is the third X. How many pencils did I measure? I measured one, two, three pencils. Okay? I measured the three pencils. Each X means one pencil. One X means one pencil. So X equal to pencil. Okay? Great. Now we're done. When you're done with this page, go to the next page, 716. Now, smart students, smart boys, smart girls, let's do it. Please hold your pencil and start solving with me. Okay, here I have a shoe length. What I have, a shoe length. So, the number is under the line of plot. Look at the line of plot here. This is a line of plot. Okay? First, let me read for you the helpful hint. Look at the helpful, the helpful hint. Remember, a line of plot tells how many times a number occurs in data. Okay? Now... This is a shoe length. I have here, first, how many X's do we have? 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six X's. Six X's means six shoes. Six shoes. Okay, I have six shoes now. Each X stands for one shoe. Great. And how do we measure the shoes? We measured it in centimeters. Okay? So the numbers down are for the lengths. 19 centimeter, 20 centimeters, 21 centimeters, 22 centimeters, 23, 24, and 25 centimeters. While the X's is for one shoe. It stands for one shoe. Now we look at the question. How many people have shoes that are 23 centimeters long i have a 23 centimeters where is the 23 centimeters is it the x's above the number the line plot or it's under the line plot it is under the line plot it is a 23 centimeters now i go above 23 and i count the x's one and two it's two shoes Great job. Now, they told you here in this question, measure the length of the right hand of 10 people in inches to. Use the data to make a line plot. The first one is hand length. So now your X will be, stands for one hand. Okay, it's for one hand. Now, I will measure my hand, okay? My hand is six inches. Okay, my son's hand is mm, three inches. And my other son's hand is four inches okay i still need 10 more 10 more not 10 i'm done with the three now i need seven more people to measure their hands great job now you're done ask your family members ask them and measure their hands then come back to the book and record by putting X above the number. Okay, guys, when you're done, answer these two questions. How long are most of the hands? Most of the, of the hands. Let us imagine it together. I'm gonna do with you the example, okay? So my, another, my other friend was three inches. Another friend was four. Okay. My sister was six. My mother was seven. Now my brother was five inches. His hand was five inches long. My baby brother was two inches long. Has a hand with two inches long. Okay, now how many hands did I measure? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still need one. So it is almost my another sister. Bigger one was also six inches long. Okay, now how long are most of the hands? In my example, you can put another numbers, okay? Most X's. Most number of X's were, was above what? Look at the numbers now down. Zero inches, one inches, two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, and seven inches. How many X's above the six? It's a three. So here above two, one, above three, two X's, two hands, four, above four, two hands, above five, one hand, above six, three hands. So three hands were the most hands 
or number six inches. Okay. How long is the longest hand? Who had the longest hand in my family member? It was seven inches. Why? Because there is an X above the last number here. It was seven. Okay. Here we're done. Wish you understood the lesson. And please go to your family member, measure their hands, and record the data. Thanks for watching and following this page with me. I want you please now to go to page, the second page, do it alone. When you're done from this page, it's also about data and you will also bring books and measure them. And when you're done with this page, send me the picture and then go to the last question we will solve together in page 718. We will solve together question number seven. Okay, let's solve it together. Okay. A line plot shows that 12 people are 48 inches tall, while 8 people are 50 inches tall, and 9 people are 47 inches tall. How tall are most of the people? Okay, 12 people were 48. 8 people are 50 inches and nine people were 47 inches okay how tall are most of the people okay now i'm not looking about the most number of inches the question said how tall are most of the people people i will look at the people I have 12 people, 8 people, 9 people. What is the most people number here in this problem? It's number 12. This is the most number, so 12. So 12 people wear 48 inches. So 12 people, which is the biggest number of people, the most people I have here in this word problem, it's a 12 people. Number 12 is greater than 8 greater than 9. So the most people are 48 inches. And least people, it's 8, right? Because this is the least number of people, it's 8. So 8 people were 50. Got it? If the question was about the most, so it's the most people. The biggest number of people, 12 people. 12 people are 48 inches, which is most of the people has this length or this tool. Thanks for watching. I want you please to solve number eight alone. Don't forget to solve the rest of the pages and send me your work. I know it's going to be amazing work as usual, boys and girls. I love you.